My dear viewers, welcome to this weekend's reading. This weekend being February 17 and 18, 2024. And this message, this reading is for everyone, for the whole collective, each and every one of us. I hope you'll enjoy it today. I hope it helps you, supports you, understanding where you're at and what's coming and what are important factors that the universe, your guiding angels and your prayers want to answer you. My dear viewers, I'd like to take this opportunity to wish you all a happy birthday. Those of you celebrating this weekend, 17 or 18 of February, February 17, 18. I hope you have a wonderful and amazing birthday. And those of you celebrating anniversaries or any other occasions, I do wish you the best of the best and a wonderful day. And those of you who are not celebrating anything, I still wish you a very wonderful, blessed day today. And always, my dear viewers, welcome and thank you all for being here. Let us start with the first message. Release and surrender I was getting as I was shuffling before. But now we've got an entrepreneur. Very interesting. Okay, so I'll just put these cards away. Here we go. Entrepreneur, this is about you, consider, some of you, considering maybe starting your own business, self-employment suits your uh, disposition and intention. Some of you are thinking of starting your own business, doing your own thing, being your own boss. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and team, teammates who remain loyal, loyally by your side to ensure your success in all in all ways, in every way. So your guiding angels, your prayers are going to be answered. If you're starting your own business or even thinking about doing your own business, you are going to be supported big time. Let's have a look at the Sacred Forest message for everyone. And we have miracles. Miracles are going to be pouring in. A lot of blessings coming in. A lot of transformations. But most of all, success after a new great beginning. Miracles and new beginnings and transformations. Beautiful. Now, let's see the butterfly spirit for everyone for this weekend. And we have kick up your heels. Kick up your heels. This is a very nice and positive um energy all about kicking up your heels and being ready for action and um, freedom a lot of freedom okay so i'll leave it at that i won't say further about this there's no need that's not, that's that one now let's see four major impacts that will impact everybody the whole collective did something open up here no four major impacts for this weekend and we have Wow, the moon, revelation. Sorry, my dear viewers, I just had to. Oh, yeah, that's still good. Okay. Um, revelations, a lot of truth is coming. A lot of hidden matters are coming. This is going to help you see your path, see it clearly. So um, the moon, revelations and clarity, seeing your path and knowing a lot of things that you, you didn't know before. Well, now everything becomes a little bit more understandable, especially if you have had, if you've been going through questions and looking for answers and in search of the truth, the light, uh, the moon, the light of the moon, the illumination of the moon will show you the path and you'll know where you stand. So for those of you who've been in limbo, unaware or unsure of what's coming, a lot of clarity. There is conflict. There is disagreement. We'll see what this is all about. And then freedom. A cycle of freedom is coming. The fool is all about freedom. That's beautiful. Let's move forward. To the next one, there are three more messages we need for this weekend for everybody. Starting with this one, and it's the Six of Wands. It's a beautiful Six of Wands. It's about a great victory, a lot of fame, recognition, and rewards for jobs. Not job one, jobs that you have done. Whether spiritual ones or um, normal ones, uh, a lot of rewards are coming for you in different ways. And recognition. For hard work, rewards for hard work. Five of Pentacles, not a very good card. Lately, it's been coming a lot. Some of you need to take care of your health. Some of us, we need to take care of our health and our money so that we don't lose money, losses of money, financial pinches, or leaving someone in the cold. That's the worst part of the Five of Pentacles. When you're either leaving someone in the cold or you've been left in the cold, this is uh, where the Five of Pentacles uh, comes to play. So... I'm going to clarify this card. It's very important to see what is it and what's the energy in regard to everyone, the whole collective. 
Then we've got the Knight of Swords, great news coming very quickly to release you, to give you the truth, to give you the go-ahead, to give you the clarity you need to move forward. All that is going to be clarified, and that's the end of that. We have what, what you don't see happening is the Eight of Wands, which shows that you need to take action very quickly in regard to something, and um, and to resolve a problem, this conflict perhaps, and also to take advantage of an opportunity. So that's what's coming. Okay, we've got the seal. Oh, and we have the gift both together. How beautiful. One more wonderful than the other. I'll just put my glasses on. Now, the seal is about money, gift of money. Gift of money. It's about business contracts, documents, but gift of money again. It is about um, some of you working in clerical work, writing, freelancing, paperwork, documents, contracts, and staying put in a job, like sealing the deal. The seal is also uh, most important, the gift of money out of the seal. Now, the, the gift, the actual golden gift, this is about a sudden windfall. I love this card, sudden windfall. This can be for many, many of us, not all of us, but you know, everybody according to their divine timing, but there could be a sudden windfall. So have a look at your money reading under your sign and see what it says. Um, I also see here generosity, and it's about giving and receiving money, generosity, careers and financial, financial support, um, work surprises, something surprising happens, and vacations. So the gift, gift of money, we've got the gift of money, and we've got a sudden windfall, two beautiful energies. Okay, that's that one, and if we go further, I get two more messages here. For this weekend one we've got the crow which is co-create with spirit work with spirit and you'll be able to get to a very good position comfortably and transcend any obstacles that you're having now you are also going to be set free very soon a new beginning brings you abundance your um your spirit guides want you to be aware of that the dog is a beautiful energy this is about a new beginning that brings you abundance of happiness playfulness loyalty being loyal to those you love and end of a major challenge a lot of success and a great victory it is also connected to the chinese year of the dog and those of you who are born the chinese year of the dog chinese year of the horse here three times we've got three horses chinese year of the dog again we've got three dogs and we have chinese year of the rooster just in case you are interested in the chinese years now let's have a look at what other messages you need to know my dear viewers, for this weekend, we've got the first one. It says, express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gestures. And for some of you, there's unrequited love where there isn't enough attraction, not enough chemistry to keep it going. But this one is the nice one where you need to express your love, show your affection and um, your romantic gestures. They are needed by someone around you who really cares about you, perhaps. Let's have a look. The message here just came out. Wow. It says, when it comes to matters of the heart, there is no right or wrong. Every choice you make expands your understanding of life and love. So when it comes to matters of the heart, there are no right or wrong. Do whatever feels comfortable. That's what I say. Do whatever makes you feel comfortable. Now, my dear viewers, I'm going to be um, doing the questions and the answers. For those of you who really love this, section um, i do it sometimes on the weekends so i'll go four answers you have up to four answers just think of something that you've always wanted to know and have you know want an answer for and see what you can get timing information clues so starting with this for this weekend um and we're going to take four four answers answer number one okay and then i'll clarify the cards answer number two Answer number three, and answer number four, there we go. Now I'm going to add on some clues, my dear viewers, and we'll go from there. So you've got one, two, three, and four, and don't forget the miracles that are coming in. That's so beautiful. Now the clues are going to be out of the tea leaves, so we will go answer number one. A clue. Okay, answer number two. I'll be cutting until I stop. Oh, answer number two. Answer number three. 
and here we go answer number three. Oh, i got two for three that's amazing and answer number four let's have a look and we'll have one for four that's it okay let's have a look at answers if you're not ready just put me on pause and unpause me to get the answers answer number one let's just put the glasses on to see what is happening i'll remove these out of my way okay answer number one it says choose a new direction choose a new direction and it says happiness i guess in order to get happiness you've got to choose another direction maybe the the current direction is not working or it might not bring you happiness that's what this is about so that's number one okay then i go to number two number two says don't stop keep going don't stop and it says something's going to happen in march don't stop something happens in march wow very interesting number three number three got the two clues so we've got trust have faith and then it says horseshoe good luck this is great luck and freedom and it's according to the tea leaves good luck so good luck there and then the ink pot the ink pot is about something that isn't quite working well uh, but according to the tea leaf it says problems to be solved problems to be solved but have faith that you've got good luck you will resolve these problems that's beautiful number three and number four finally answer number four it says no and it says a boot a boot is about a new person entering your life it says increase your efforts according to tea leaf it's increase your efforts if you want to achieve your goals so the answer is no but there could be a new person entering your life and according to tea leaf increase your efforts okay that's that one now i'm going to start clarifying the cards starting with we're going to start with the six of wands and see what is this amazing um rewards these amazing rewards and this great victory what is it all about and then i'll clarify the beautiful which i love the um the knight of swords but first six of wands for the collective let's have a look okay i've got two the rewards are power and control over your life and offer you kind reviews that will give you um authority being an authority and two major kind of that means major big rewards uh, expansion compensation healing and a new lease of life that's going to bring you happiness so much happiness beyond your imagination that's what's happening and coming let's have a look at the knight of, of swords let's see what this great news is all about and what is happening what is this go ahead this green light to move forward what is it all about and it shows a new beginning that gives you one of your wishes so the greatest gift of heaven the greatest gift from the heavens whether it's going to be the greatest love or the greatest gift or abundance a sudden windfall gift of money could be anything but it's going to fulfill you emotionally and in every way is going to be fulfilled and one of your oldest wish is going to be granted so this could be the sudden windfall possibly or this could bring you um a gift of money gift of money or a sudden windfall but overall it's going to be the greatest gift that you've ever received and you are going to be loving it this could be the reason where miracles will be pouring in pouring in miracles abundant of miracles pouring in because of everything i just said your grand oldest wish the greatest gift of the heavens the ace of cups and the gift of money and a sudden windfall a lot of generosity from the heavens and miracles so wow and for those of you who are starting your business well you are supported big time in every way it looks like to me all right so i'm going to put these over here that's the good news actually about the uh, the knight of swords you are going to be getting a great gift and your wish is being granted now let's move on to what the moon is revealing okay something did open up which is the three of wands a lot of rewards expansion of your mind you are going to see things clearly you are going to be empowered to take bold steps and move forward and be able to do whatever you have to do if you want to start your own business if you want to start another shop or another business you'll all you'll be able to do that you'll have the clarity and the power to do that what else this just popped up and the other thing is someone very supportive maybe or very truthful or very direct or someone of air energy aquarius gemini libra could be um 
directing you to the truth but there is an end of a cycle and i feel like you are going to be elevated to high levels and you are going to be uh, the world is abundance of money coming to you could be a windfall elevated um elevated to high levels in in the world and a lot of victories what you don't see happening is a new beginning that brings you a lot of happiness somewhere new in your life and uh, overcoming obstacles and also a great victory let's have a look at the hermit and see what the hermit is all about and we have the ace of pentacles and i need just two more happiness and a lot of money so the beginning of prosperity having your dream wishes established and a grand rise in your money major rise in your money so the gift of money could be playing this role here the other gift could be playing the other role here where abundance might come or a sudden windfall or big money out of nowhere but the beginning of prosperity starts and it doesn't end it's ongoing a new beginning that brings you everything and with it comes a lot of happiness extraordinary happiness that's incredible absolutely amazing my dear viewers that was very very deep and that is what you don't see all happening and coming so that's that one and that will answer all your questions with this new beginning let's have a look at the conflict and see what this five of wands is all about what is this disagreement about it might be connected to someone of earth energy virgo taurus or capricorn i feel like there could be someone uh, that might be uh, disagreeing maybe with you or you might be having conflict with this person i feel like with the um where is the other one the this one here that i said i love which is this card here the Knight of uh, Swords. I feel like great news is happening. Uh, I feel like uh, this person is finally going to be perhaps, uh, if there are issues, if, if an Earth energy is facing, if this person is Earth energy, which is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. If they are facing problems, I feel like there's good news to release them. There's great news and the truth with the news is going to release them. Whatever conflict there is, whatever un disagreement or unhappiness it's causing is going to be changing and this person might be set free there's freedom and there is um, elevation from this situation so moving to the to the next level um yeah so that's that one here in regard to the conflict this conflict is going to end because of some information or news that's coming someone is leaving without a doubt taking a stand and leaving and this could be connected to something from the past it could be but leaving something behind and moving forward maybe the news is going to release this person and they're able to go let's have a look at the freedom because this is also about somebody being set free completely and um, the fool for the collective sacrifice sacrifice and there's the five of pentacles i see sacrifice Someone has been sacrificing, maybe that's why they're not free. And finally they're going to be freed. And they're going to let go of something. No matter how hard it may be, they're letting go of something. There could be losses. There could be sadness. Letting go of something or someone. Something is falling apart. Okay, what I'm going to do, all right, in regard to this, the sacrifice and the five of pentacles, I'm going to do the five of pentacles because that will... Give me an idea of exactly what this is. Don't forget this is for the collective. So let's see what the Five of Pentacles is really all about. It is about leaving. It's about seeing things clearly and having the right to leave. Mm. The right to leave. Then there is, of course, there's a lot happening here okay so there's happiness there's someone new coming in your life someone that you'll connect with there's a lot of celebrations that's all there but what's uh what the cause of this situation seems to be is someone is being withheld it's like against their will or they're not happy where they are they want to be free they want to go in search of happiness and they're not able to because of someone this someone this person is getting released is is getting freed uh, you are getting news or some information or something that's happening that you are being released. A lot of truth is going to come to light. We've got the moon twice revealing some truth that is going to be putting an end to something that's been overwhelming you, something that you've been worried about, something that you've been 
stressing about is going to come to an end. A lot of truth is going to be revealed about something. It is connected to someone of water energy. We've got the King of Cups, right? And we've got the King of Pentacles and Earth energy. So water and Earth. Very interesting. Somebody is leaving. Somebody's going. They could be going back home. They could be moving to a better place. Water energy, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Earth energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Virgo here, very strong because we've got also the Hermit, uh, which is the Virgo card. But I do believe that there is a lot of truth showing the path. That's why you or this person are able to finally leave. What they were waiting for, what they were hoping for, maybe it collapses and you're finally able to go. I feel like there is a collapse without a doubt, something that you're relying on. Or, you know, somebody was relying on, it's falling apart and you are released to be able to live freely and comfortably. And you'll have your answers. Somebody is getting uh, released and relieved by the truth. The truth is giving them the strength and the power to move forward without any doubt. Let's see what the Chinese cookies want to tell us for this weekend. Very interesting. Very deep and very interesting with the five of pentacles repeating and the moon repeating. Elevation. This is about on this this is about so we've got these two. It's about movement. I can see that for sure. It's about taking action and leaving and moving forward. But it shows that hidden matters are coming. Things are becoming more clearer that um you're able to go. Even if it is leaving someone in the cold, even if you have uh, you have no choice, you've got the go ahead to go. There's news coming to to release you. This is a, a form of release from something that was quite complicated, quite difficult, and not knowing, you know, what was going to happen. But with the uh, with the sword, the knight of swords, I think it's the, the grant of being able to move, to be able to go, to be able to be released from something. Let's have a look at the Chinese cookies because they have three messages. Let's see what they want to tell us. First and foremost, it says, care required, guard yourself against deception and be careful of making foolish mistakes at this time. So be very careful and guard against deception. That's number one. Wisdom. To focus on the past is to lose the future. Heed advice. Listen to advice from the older person, which will allow you to move on. So yes, there is a matter of moving on, moving to the next level and leaving the past behind you. For those of you who are having a problem not being able to leave the past as though you are abandoning something, it isn't that. It is time for you to move on. Even in the reading of yesterday, I think it was uh, Friday, it was about letting go of the past. That message came three times, let go of the past. Now, for those of you who have been persevering, it isn't easy to let go, but that's what we're all advised to do. It says perseverance. You may feel like you are getting nowhere, but there are wonderful changes ahead. Don't give up. Have faith. Don't give up. Things are going to be moving big time, my dear viewers. Trust in your divine um, miracles. Remember, the miracles that are coming in are going to be causing you or giving you a lot of blessings. Miracles are going to be uplifting you to high levels and a lot of truth with that. And that is the end of your reading. I do hope you enjoyed it. Do let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up, my dear viewers, if you enjoyed the reading. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you already haven't in support of me and to see the videos right till the end in support of me without stopping them. That means a lot to me. If you'd like to support me in that way, it means a lot. doesn't cost you a thing, a few moments of your time. Or if you get bored halfway, just let the video end by itself. Let it end in its own way. I um, would really appreciate your support in that manner. I wish you abundance of blessings and a lot of love and light to each and every one of you. Namaste.